Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we have more of what you need. And what you need is an update from me. The reason that is, is because when I uploaded the last video, which was against, actually, I will go in here and uh, show you so that you kind of know what I'm fucking talking about. If I can remember where in the hell it is. Sweet Jesus. Um, is it players? Nope. Squads. Do you have to go in the squads to... Yeah, it is. I wish that the fixtures thing was just easier to find sometimes. Anyhow, alright. So here's what happened. Alright. I uploaded this video versus SJK um, as episode number 47. That is incorrect. It is episode number 48. I went and fixed it on YouTube, and as soon as I'm done recording this, I'm going to upload this video, which is really episode 47. Um, my capture card didn't uh, finish or didn't export this uh, like this episode right here, the, the KUPS episode, um, for whatever reason. Usually that happens when I just kind of, I'm a little too quick and I don't give it a chance to get started and I just get done and I start another episode right away or whatever. Something, some little hang up happens. It just doesn't always export all the time. It's real easy though to just go in there and, and just force feed it through. It, yeah, I, which is what I did. I just force fed it through and now it's done and it's ready to go. So what I did is I was just going off of whatever was in my folder when everything gets dumped in there and I went and I saw VPS and then I just saw the SJK episode. I thought that was next. That was incorrect. Um, this episode was next. So like I said, I'll go upload that and it'll be episode number 47 and all that good shit and hopefully it won't be too confusing. However, um, I am still going to record, obviously, this episode here um one other small minor thing um the volume of the crowd may be i noticed that well to me it was a little it was a little loud um in the last video um i don't remember or not what that was said at quite honestly that's one of those things that i don't really commit to memory so i don't really know what the volume was said at when I recorded that, uh, I think it's been turned down. I'm not so sure. I'm not too worried about it because it's not. It's not that bad, honestly. It's not that bad. So um, we'll go ahead and just you know dive right into this and get going. So um, I may try and, and tweak that and mess with that. I do need. See, this is one thing I do need to do. All right, like I said. I don't commit shit like that sometimes to memory. I just, it's just not, some of those things that I just, oh man, I should fucking remember that. And I, you know, I don't put any effort into it, so it's just something I fucking do like a fucking robot and not pay attention to. So, there's that. Um, however, uh, yeah, I should just, I, if I was smart, I'd just fucking write this shit down, which is something I do. I do have a, I do have a fucking binder if you will for all this shit and i do need to start writing some of this stuff down most of this i just kind of do off the top of my head and just kind of fucking fly with it so yeah there's that that's kind of what i do so um yeah so if there's no uh you know consistency on that part that's my bad and that's just because i just don't fucking think about it and that uh i'm not that worried about it once again I, this isn't supposed to be some gigantic Hollywood production. This is just something that I do for fun and something I enjoy. So, yeah. Um, so, on to things relevant to this game. I have not played Football Manager in a few days now. It's just kind of weird for me because I typically play it pretty much every day. I've um, been playing Final Fantasy IX, which is what I'm going to go ahead and continue playing here as soon as I'm done recording this. Because I thought I had to record a couple episodes. Turns out I only need to record one for now. And I don't know, maybe I'll do two, depending on how I feel after this. But, um, so, yeah, it's going to be kind of, uh, probably kind of rough jumping right back into this. Um, no, we're going to go with calm because we're, we're away from home. And we're going to stay calm. Yeah. Anyhow, alright, so, 
we are underway here and I do not have the sound on do I no I do not I don't believe I think I turned it off did I turn it off I think I was listening to uh to the lapsed fan podcast and I think I turned it off so you can get no crowd sound out of this one too bad I was thinking about there for a second just saying fuck it and just starting over to hell with it we're just gonna go with it I don't really care that much <sighs> you wouldn't hear much crowd anyway at least I think that's what it is, because I'm pretty sure my TV is is at the volumes. Yeah, we've got volume here. So yeah, I did turn it off, and I apologize for that. Didn't think of that. I forgot I did that. Forgot that the last time I played this, I was listening to the Lapsed Fan. So there's that, and here we are. Holy shit! I just realized Ramosaho is is uh is um starting. How how are you? Where's your fucking I can't see it from here, can I? Oh, well, the hell with it. Oh, I can just do... Okay, what? Oh, you're still doing the fucking instruction. Um, I, ha I was playing around with that the other day. Oh, I guess last week now. It's been a while. Um, I think we are going to just take the hassle opponents thing just off entirely and just go with it because it does really help quite a bit. Um, oh, boy. Little, little, little soft on the passes there, but anyhow. Um, so yeah, but yeah, I think we are gonna go ahead and make that change. And um, oh my, I was gonna say if he scores from there, that's gonna be wonderful. But it doesn't, so it's not wonderful, bastards. So um, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, we are gonna take the. Uh, I had a th I had somewhere to like connect that to the whole uh, the whole um, what are you all right Hananen is okay to go today I think we'll drop Oyala for Hananen so I think Ramasaho safe for now I think that's I think that's where I'm gonna go with that so um uh, yeah but um, I think we are gonna take Hassel opponents off on the instructions you saw me take it off a few minutes ago when the match initially started and we filed right out of the gate um, I think we're just gonna go ahead and go with that for now because for whatever reason it's just racking up so many fucking cards right now I mean I had a game with um, with my Icelandic club where I literally had like 10 yellow cards it was fucking stupid no one got sent off though ironically enough but i literally had 10 yellow cards somehow my goalkeeper got a card and i wasn't even like i don't know how i missed it because i have no idea how the fuck he got a card i mean we had no penalty kicks against us i know that for sure no penalty goals no penalty goals no penalties those spot kicks if you will so i mean i i don't know i just i just, I just don't know i was just completely dumbfounded i mean i'm sitting here watching just like i am right now you know i mean i may have been doing something else at the time and I don't know, maybe maybe it happened when I went to go fucking take a piss or something. It just, like I said, fucking keeper had yellow even. So I was like, all right, fuck it. You know, that's when I made, that's when I decided right there. I was like, fuck it. You know, this hassle opponents thing, for whatever reason, I don't remember it being, I don't remember it collecting so many yellow cards when I initially started doing, using formations with that instruction but for whatever reason now, it's just cards everywhere. So I mean, I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna play without it and say fuck it. Don't close them down. I fucking guess. But um, and that also brings me to another thought. I have, I have entirely concluded that I do enjoy this engine, the FM14 engine, more. So if you're wondering why, if you're wondering why I'm not playing FM15, even though it's newer. It's because I don't like that match engine as much. Um, as I've said before, it reminds me of some of the old PS2 NHL games where it's just chock full of all this motion capture shit that they start doing all these little fancy little fucking moves and you, they just, wow, that was a hell of a chance. They just end up all over the fucking place and it just looks god awful and goofy in my honest opinion. I don't enjoy it at all. I don't find it easy on the eyes. I... Like I said, I just I just don't like it as much. All the little fancy shit. This, you know, sure doesn't look as good at some sometimes. I mean, but I don't know. Like I said, I I just find this a better engine. It's, in my honest opinion, save for a few fucking things, a little more realistic. 
like I said, the animations aren't as outlandish and they don't fucking run around and do stupid shit, little fucking crossover dribbles and shit and do all this little dumb shit for whatever reason in it. Like, it'll carry him, like, they'll do something and then, like, do something, like, out here, all by himself. Oh, I thought that was going to sneak in, too. Like, this guy out here, he'll be out here all by himself or something, get the ball, do some little, little fucking move, and it'll, like, take him all the way out over here. And it's like, dude, fucking just stop doing that shit. It's just, it, it just, it's irritating, like I said. It reminds me of the old NHL games. I don't remember which one specifically, probably, like, 06 or something like that. When the EA games where they where they went really hardcore with all the mocap shit and you do something at the blue line and it just take you all the way down behind the net because yeah, just do some stupid shit and all the while all you wanted to do was flick a boo Remasaho Jesus their goalkeeper's on point today God damn yeah four clear cut chances we're cutting them up right now they just can't fucking convert though and now Ramali just earned himself a fucking yellow card wonderful perfect just great just great oh no no card this time this is a good this is a good position for a kick though these are the areas like this really bother me really i should say worry me more than anything that's a, that's a good distance right there and it's easy to get it up and around people from that distance or not easier i should say in my honest opinion but it's one of those advantageous areas for a spot kick. Uh, but anyhow. Um, shit. I really don't know what else I got for you. I think, uh, oh shit, come on. See, I also prefer some of these out here from, from right around in here. I think these spot kicks out here are very useful. I don't like them so much in the front over here, but I like the ones over here. In, in the channels on, on the flank out here. I really like those. Because I like being able to... Well, I like being able to. Like, I do it. Like, I like it when they uh, when they whip them in and around through here. Around, right right in between the... Um, the the fucking... Oh, actually, right around the, the penalty spot, honestly. Like, that's where I really like... Oh, Jesus Christ. What is with you idiot fucks today? Jesus. I just, good God. What, why are you, why are you over here? Anyhow. Ah, oh, fuck, I thought that was a goal. Just clear it, please. Thank you. Jesus, we've been unable to get out of our own fucking in the last ten minutes of this match. This isn't a bad spot right here, but... Jesus. Just can't get anything. Just can't get any, uh... Not getting lucky at all, either. Nothing's fallen to us or anything like that. Which lends all the more reason to probably take, uh... Oh, what a, Oh, my God. See, that's the shit. That's the shit that irritates me. Those plays like that. Like, I do not know what in the hell the game is trying to represent with shit like that. Because to me, it comes across as dumbass. How is he on sides? Like, that play, like, right there where the ball went behind him, that's fine. That's fine. I don't mind that. Because those are things that actually happen in football. You know, someone gets tackled or the ball gets cleared and it goes behind someone. He's just looking the wrong direction, shit like that. That's fine. But when the ball hits a fucking person, and it's not even coming at him like at any pace whatsoever, like it did to a rinse. Oh my god, you could have fucking snake that there. I would say shoulda, coulda, woulda. Those are like those those dumb plays where, for whatever reason, when you get you know non world class players, basically, it just shit like that happens. I don't like I said. I don't. I don't like it. I don't like it so much. I mean, I think you'd find more of those positional issues, in my honest opinion. I think you find more of those than people just being stupid. I mean, sure, you're going to have fucking players that aren't very smart or athletic. I think that's something, too. Like, I think, honestly, like, at the lower leagues, you're going to have a lot, a lot fewer super athletic players, in my honest opinion. I think that's the real difference between that and, you know, players just aren't in... You know, just aren't as sharp 
mentally and positionally they aren't where they should be all the time or don't don't have like a like an instinct for goal things like that where they just kn- know where they need to be you know where they just don't possess oh my god now it's beautiful hell of a threaded pass through there though shit so this does put us in a precarious position though it really puts us in a weird position because they don't like going into the half having just scored um especially with how much offense that they've had in the latter part of this first half oh jesus see like things like that like that 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 is a good defender who comes in and cuts that off whereas a lower league defender would just track the player you know what i mean like those little things like that are what differentiate world-class players from lower league players sunday league players whatever you want to call them in my honest opinion i mean those are just simple little things like that like tracking the player staying home or actually being more assertive and going after the ball in that in that sense like i said it's I'm sure, I'm sure I'm entirely wrong, but um, that's just my, like I said, my personal philosophy, how, or how I perceive, you know, talent in, in football. I mean, it's just those little things like that, that make, you know, it, it's kind of funny though, when you like watch American football too, like when it comes down to like you know quarterbacks and shit like that like a good quarterback is is very sharp oh my god what are you doing what was that jesus there's no reason for the keeper to fucking mess that up i'm gonna chalk that up to like a failed clearance or something because that's what that looked like to me i looked like he went to try and clear that and just scuffed the shit out of it so in that case i'm gonna be okay with that because I understand that. Ooh, almost, Ramasaho. Almost. Almost. So close and yet so far. But, you know, like I said, like when you watch American football and quarterbacks, like a bad quarterback, I mean, just indecisive, no, like it's like there's no threat of anything from a bad quarterback. Whereas a good quarterback is, you know, really sharp and on point and knows where to put the ball and shit like that. You know, where to throw it, when to take off, when to run with it. You know, shit like that. But bad quarterbacks. You know, they're just like, they're god-awful. You know what I mean? Like, anything they try to do, they can't run. They're not fast. They're not quick. They don't can't throw the ball very well. They're inaccurate passing the ball. Just all sorts of shit. But anyhow, that's also one of the reasons why I, I have a hard time watching American football sometimes. I mean, I was born and raised on it, but it's not, like, as I've gotten older, it's not one of those things that I hold dear anymore. Like, college ball, I still watch, but not pro anymore. I'm done with that shit. I'm done. I, I've had enough. Enough for 20 lifetimes, which is why I like real football. Haha. <laughs> See what I did there? I actually wanted to keep Oyala on there for a little bit you know, longer, but um, yes, that injury kind of works out <sighs> momentarily. Um, hopefully it's not anything catastrophic, which I'm sure with our luck that we've had. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. What a pass that was. Jesus. Mm. Close close that is one thing i think they changed what i think they changed that from fm15 uh to um oh wow jesus from uh between fm14 and fm15 i think creativity turned into vision or something like that i think i think they renamed it for some dumb reason it performs the same function in the game i mean it determines um how creatively they pass as you just saw when they're passing between, you know, defenders and shit like that. Uh, once again, I can't, I cannot stress enough how much I like the the attribute distribution in this game. I think that's the part of this game, like passes like that. Like if with low creativity, you're just gonna pass the players closest to you. 
the higher your creativity is, you're going to pass, you know, make longer passes, make more incisive passes, you know, like you're about to see here, that. With no creativity, you're probably not going to make that pass. But with a decent degree of creativity, you will. Now, your ability to pull off that cre that creative pass is is your um, your technical skill. You know how good you are at passing and all that good shit. Oh my lord! I'm surprised that didn't go out. I kind of looked like it was going to go out there for a second, or it kind of looks like it should have. Oh Jesus! No one willing to take the shot on there. Oh, good job, Osu. Shutting that shit down. Shutting that counter down. Anyhow, um, um, I got nothing else really to say here. Other than, I mean, it, it is kind of frustrating. We've had. If you look at the stats, which is why I like this sort of shit. Six clear cut chances. Fuck. We should have more goals, don't you think? And quite honestly, it should be 1-1. One, one, or maybe even 2-1. They've had a couple good chances in their own. Not clear cut, but they've definitely touched, touched, tested our goalie quite a bit. Oh, gee, God. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I'm very happy with that passage of play. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, yeah, see, there. I think we're going to have to work on our uh, defensive positioning in between. See, that's something, too. I haven't played this in a while. I don't remember what we worked on in the um, build-up leading up to these matches. So I'm kind of I'm kind of concerned at how our defense is. Man, Ramasaha was just all over the place. And some of these create, you know, passes and runs, too, aside from our finishing, obviously, have just been really, really good. That's our seventh clear-cut chance. I mean, especially Ramasaho, he's just been, you know, just running through their defense. And now on the opposite side, our defense has not been in the best position throughout the course of this game. There's been a couple of, been a couple of decent chances. Like I said, they don't go down as clear-cut, but they've definitely had their opportunities. And we have lightened up on the fouls, though. The foul count is even, if you see that up there, which is good. Um what we want like one like okay like honestly two to three yellow cards i'm okay with i mean i'm not but when they get to four or five it's just fucking ridiculous see look at that some of that just please finish this thank you Oof. good stuff yeah our offense has been clicking we must have we must have um we must have worked on that leading up to this match or at least of the prior matches. Yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. So, because we're... Our, our attacking movement's really good. Really good. Oh, fuck you. Oh, god damn it. Just had to fucking... See, that right there. That is a lower league play. He thinks about coming out, gets stranded, doesn't... And that sort of thing happens. Although, quite honestly, the defender was there. There should have been a little better effort, my honest opinion. But oh, fucking Christ, Jesus! It's these goddamn injuries that are really fucking screwing us. Really, they are. Goddamn. And we have no attackers on the fucking bench because we've got fucking nothing. On all, in all honesty, just so we're gonna take. Ramasaho off, put Ryzen in, in, and we'll move Usu up, I think. But we will switch you two because I think Corral is a little bit better offensively, in my honest opinion. Let's <sighs> just fucking see. This is the shit that like that we can't we can't deal with. Like we can't have because of how shallow our team is right now. We cannot. I cannot stress this enough. We cannot have two, three people injured the whole fucking season. I mean, we just started getting most of these people back, in all honesty. Like, the suspensions and stuff, that's fine. That's only one game. We can deal with that. That doesn't bother me as much. 
you know, that that can happen, and I'm okay with that. But it's just these goddamn injuries where everyone's just fucking getting getting injured and shit. Uh, not a great shot, but I can't really complain. He's a central central defender. <laughs> he is a um. He's a uh. Oh, fuck, a defensive midfielder. There we go. Those are the words I'm looking for. Hmm. Run with it. Or, wow. Should at least be a yellow. That better be a fucking yellow. I mean, it's not a clear... Clear goal-scoring opportunity, but... Yeah, there we go. Alright, so... Five minutes to hang on to this fucking one goal lead. This is... Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, Christ. Please tell me he had another yellow. That'd be fucking great. Yeah, fuck you, asshole. Bitches. Injuring my players and shit. Bastards. Fuck them. Like, he's offsides. That wasn't gonna count or anything anyway. He was well offside, too. So hopefully with the man advantage, he'll be able to just at least, you know, control the ball for the last probably five minutes, including uh, added time here. Ooh. Where are you going with the ball there? Uh, offside? No? Huh. He looked offside to me. He looked well offside to me. Well, huh. I guess we'll, uh, take that. Um, fuck, I don't even, I don't even know what we're going to do with, um, I don't think we have any more attacking players, um, on the bench. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I thought Turinen had another one thought he did there. I thought that was going to sneak past it. And let's just say this. I'm not going to put money on Monsalve. Just it. That's just it. I'm just not going to put money on him. I mean, I'm, I am unconvinced as to his ability, but we do walk out of here with the 3-1 win after a goalkeeper's mistake, in my honest opinion. That's, that, that's one of those things where you either go out or you don't. Should have stayed at home. That's what he should have done. Or just committed one way or the other. Fuck. Whatever. Anyhow, alright. Very happy with that. Switch with Hanan and coming off the bench and and scoring the two goals to win. And look at that! Look at that! We have a one point lead at the top over FC Inter. They lost today. So did Lati. That's awesome. That's awesome. Problem is, though, are we going to be able to beat them? Hmm? These, uh, well, these three are the clubs that we're going to have to beat if we're going to win the league. I don't think we will, though. Quite honestly, I, um, judging by our defensive performance today, not not put money on it um just because i think like i said we would have to beat those clubs i think for us to win and i don't put money on us beating them i don't think that's i don't think that's something that we can we can bet on doing honestly i think those are the ones that will beat us and are likely to um oh shit we got out of there lucky no long-term injuries to either, either of those guys. Well, that's awesome. That's 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 awesome. It's really awesome, actually. Um, that helps us out a lot going forward. Oh fuck, this new skin just freaks me out sometimes. Yeah, that's wonderful. We can probably rest a couple of these guys. Oyala and Ramasaho in the upcoming match, um, because it is a league match. Um, 
course, Suisi is going to be sitting as well, I believe. But we got plenty of central defenders to kind of cover for that. Yeah, like this. Like, do we really need four fucking players? Of course, only Robbie was playing um, consistent or consistent regular games. We did pick up Philip Schoberg, by the way. Our bid did go through. So, um, we do have him. So, anyway, alright, so that does it for this episode. You made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching, bye.